so heat helped and only a genuine apple power supply with a lot of gunk inside it's really ridiculous why they need to have gluey gunk inside there but that's what it is and this is relatively here slightly scratched so before you press the screwdriver in there too much better heat it more this area here did not want it to come off so much and with reheating it came off there so yeah it's a fun of glued low quality apple ship one could even think they manufactured intentionally so that even if you don't buy a new mac you need to give them at least some money for continuing to using your old apple macbooks not only i find this construction ridiculous it's even said that these cables break so quickly so yeah If you're one of those who thinks this kind of construction is normal, then I think something is wrong with you, unfortunately. I find this kind of gluey adhesive nonsense really sad and put screws in there, let professionals open this and repair this cable. This is so sad. It's I have no words. And with a bit of new glue, as good as new. However, I guess it fits better together if you first scratch most of this apple gunk out of there. But yeah, your mileage may vary and do not attempt this if you have no clue about electronics. And uh, the capacitors in there can have a high voltage, so you only want to do this fully discharged uh, and discharge them before you touch anything and so on. Not, not that you get an electric shock attempting to do this and yeah, don't try this at home if you have no clue about the flow of electrons. <laughs> 